very interested in the VOC, the, the Dutch trading company, and all the phrases they left over the world. So that's also why I really wanted to come here and to work in the place where once Dutch people were and to do something with that story. So it's very uh, special and also very important to be here and that will change the work that will come out. If I'm working in my studio in Eindhoven, I know where to get materials, I know how to do research and I know what I want to have maybe in the end. And here all those questions, they well, I have to put effort in it, so if I want to just make something, I don't know where to get materials and it's always a, a search or a request to <laughs> go outside of the studio, go into the city and see where to get inspiration, see where to get materials and see how to get things done. So I really like that environment, that everything is new, it's brilliant and here there's always room for uh, adventure. I have this very big personal interest in uh, puppets and toys, figures. Of course, the story I'm working with is it is about people. So it is about uh, Dutch people, uh, Taiwanese people, Chinese people, and it's very logical to visualize that in a physical way. And puppetry is one of the things that is super local here, and everyone knows this style. And I think it's a good way to always combine those things. Of course, I work together with some. Uh, organizations in Hainan and they also already uh, introduced me to the puppetry so I could do some research before but when I came here and I saw it in real life then I thought like yeah this is what I have to do and it connects to the project so well. Basically the project is about the relation uh, of Holland and Taiwan in the 17th century so a long time ago and one of my interest in my work is to document the history of the Dutch trading company, the VOC. Um, and that's very, yeah, it's very local in Taiwan because they've been here. And I want to do something with that. So as a designer, I'm thinking about how to document history and how to visualize it. Because history is very flat, it's in books and sometimes it's in images, but most of the times things are uh, not so or it's just text. So I'm thinking as a designer how to make history visual that can be done in many ways. And I like to think in local ways. So the Dutch were here, now they're gone, but this history is from here. And now there's still some techniques here and some traditions and some visual references. Uh, so I always try to connect those things. So yeah. local story and local techniques and you combine it and you can make something visual. Interesting that here in Sanchen Gong is such a big figure and he has many temples. And in Holland, of course, we have a different relationship to this history, so he's not so famous. And I think it's, it's interesting to bring the character of Sanchen Gong to Holland and to show him. No, I only have, uh, I think, good experiences here. Of course, it should, it should fit with what you want, and I can, of course, always recommend people to, to come here. And of course, it's now also in my network. <laughs> so if I if I want to do something in Taiwan, or if other people want to do something in Taiwan, this is also the first place you think about. Well, I think it's a city with many possibilities, and it's a maker city. I would call it because every street, every corner of the street, everywhere there's someone making something, and it's in textile, woods, uh, ceramics. Uh, <laughs> Metal, I've seen everything, and paper. <laughs> so I would say almost everyone I know, they would have a connection with something here because there's so much and everything is just out there. And I think the only thing is that you have to find it. <laughs>